The North Dark Reaches is Neverwinter's 24th mod, sending adventurers to answer the call of King Brunar Battlehammer to uncover the disappearance of Braylin Jan Quay, an elite scout, part of the Bregan DF mercenary group led by Jarlaxle, discover a new adventure zone, campaign, gear, the revamped Temple of the Spider dungeon, and this brand new two-part story written by R.A. Salvatore as you descend into the Underdark. Requiring an item level of 50,000, the North Dark Reaches can campaign can be completed within 10 weeks, encompassed with a campaign store, including boons, a spider totem, and new epic and legendary weapons waiting to be crafted. In order to progress through the campaign, you'll need to earn Bregan Dieth pins, obtainable from quest completions at a weekly haul cap of 100. As long as you're completing your daily and weekly repeatables, you'll be progressing through the campaign. On the other hand, House Benray coins, obtainable from quest completions and heroic encounters at a max cap of 5,000, these coins are used in the campaign store to purchase companion gear, overloads, vanity pets, and a key for Temple of the Spider. In order to earn boons, you'll need Seals of the Dragon, obtainable from random cues, fungal spores acquired after defeating many bosses throughout the zone. If you haven't seen my video on the locations of these mini bosses, click the first link in the description or join the Discord for a map screenshot. In your first week, you could earn all four boons without halting your progression. The Eerie Spider Totem, a new relic channeled by the user to attune themselves with the spiders requires a new currency we haven't seen. The brilliant Kaboakan gems, obtainable from Master Temple of the Spider. Yes, Master Temple of the Spider at a weekly cap of 3. The new epic and legendary weapons will be one of the best weapons in the game. The epic blasphemy set will provide 7500 power, defense, or outgoing healing depending on your role for 15 seconds once every 30 seconds when using stamina. When dealing combat advantage, there's a 10% chance to gain 5% outgoing damage, incoming damage resistance, or outgoing healing for 15 seconds once every 30 seconds, depending on your role. The Legendary Stormforge set will be the best weapon set in the game, as long as you're on the Underdark. Your damage, incoming damage resistance, and outgoing healing are increased by 2%. Likewise, you'll gain 7.5% outgoing damage, incoming damage resistance, or outgoing healing, depending on your roll for 15 seconds when you use stamina once every 30 seconds. When you deal combat advantage, you have a 10% chance to gain the second benefit of the blasphemy set, making these weapons a must have for now and what's to come. The Dark Maiden's gear will be some of the best gear in the game, including helmets providing 1% AP when killing an enemy for DPS, 10% mana regeneration for supports, and 15% threat generation for tanks. A chest plate doubling the damage you do to enemies that are not facing you by 5% while in the Underdark, and boots, yeah boots, providing 4500 power while in the Underdark plus an additional 5% towards your roll bonus. While adventuring throughout the Underdark, completing heroic encounters will earn you a chance at potentially one of the best debuff artifacts in the game. The Assassin's Dice will debuff the enemy's critical chance, avoidance, and deflect severity by 5% for 15 seconds. If you're brave enough to step foot inside Temple of the Spider, you'll have a chance at the Tentacle Rod artifact. For 10 seconds, enemies will lose 5% movement speed and awareness and take 5% additional damage from you and your party. Could you imagine the likelihood of this stacking? Imagine. Now within each area of the Underdark, it has its own major and minor heroic encounters, where you can earn the Assassin's Dice Artifact, Drow Shirt and Pants, and Mycelio Top and Bottoms. In conclusion, there's a lot to look forward to. I haven't grinded for something worth grinding for in a long time, and trying to avoid spoilers as much as possible, it makes my experience that much better. So with that being said, if you found this video helpful, be sure to titty smack that like button, join the Discord, and until next time, my city needs me, and you will make excellent subscribers. <laughs>